Have you ever wondered how those famous Nike sneakers are made? Today, we're taking you through the entire process, from the first designs to the final checks. We'll show you the cool tech and skilled workers that create these popular shoes. By the end, you'll see your sneakers in a whole new way and understand just how much work goes into making them. Every Nike shoe starts as a digital blueprint where creativity meets precision. Nike's advanced 3D design software turns ideas into detailed digital models, allowing designers to craft every aspect of a shoe, from its overall shape to tiny textures. Designers face the challenge of turning these digital creations into real products. They carefully consider each part of the shoe for looks and function, tweaking things like cushioning and surface patterns to ensure the final product performs as good as it looks. This digital approach beats traditional design methods. Using 3D modeling, Nike needs fewer physical prototypes, which speeds up design and cuts down on waste. Designers can make changes on screen in real time, working closely with manufacturing teams to improve designs based on feedback and performance data. Data guides decisions about both performance and environmental impact. Designers use this info to choose materials wisely, knowing these choices greatly affect Nike's carbon footprint. In fact, about 70% of Nike's carbon footprint comes from production materials, making these design decisions crucial for sustainability. As the digital design wraps up, the final 3D models are ready to become real shoes. The designs go straight to computers on the factory floor, keeping the original vision intact throughout manufacturing. The materials picked for each shoe are key to how it performs and its impact on the environment. Over half of the materials in Nike's shoes come from recycled sources. This shows how Nike is pushing the boundaries in making sports shoes that are both high-performing and good for the planet. Their process for choosing materials is all about finding the right balance between how well the shoe works, how eco-friendly it is, and how much it costs. Nike uses lots of different materials in their shoes. There's mesh to let your feet breathe, synthetic leather to make the shoe last longer, rubber for grip, and EVA foam to cushion your feet. Each material is picked carefully for what it brings to the table. In Nike's lab, scientists and engineers are always testing new materials. They put each potential material through its paces, checking how long it lasts, how well it stretches, and how breathable it is. The goal is to find materials that can handle the tough demands of sports while also being kind to the environment. One of Nike's big breakthroughs is Flyknit. It's a special material woven from recycled fibers into one piece. Flyknit is great because it creates less waste when making shoes and makes them lighter too. This has helped Nike cut down on scraps and make their manufacturing more efficient. Nike also focuses on getting materials from eco-friendly sources. They're using more recycled polyester, which is good for the planet but still performs well. They even have a program called Nike Grind that turns manufacturing leftovers into new products. With all these carefully chosen materials and new technologies, Nike is ready to start putting their shoes together. Each part plays its own role in making a shoe that's great for athletes and kind to the environment. Now, it's time to see how these materials come together. The journey from raw material to finished shoe takes an unexpected turn as we enter Nike's cutting-edge production facilities. Here, robotic arms can process enough shoe pieces in an hour to outfit thousands of athletes. This showcases how advanced technology and human expertise work together to push the limits of shoe manufacturing. Cutting is a crucial step that sets the stage for everything that follows. It's where carefully chosen materials are shaped into the precise pieces that would become a Nike shoe. The accuracy of these cuts plays a big role in the quality, fit, and performance of the final product. At the core of this process are high-tech robotic arms that work incredibly fast and precisely. They can cut thousands of shoe pieces per hour, much faster than manual methods. This consistency ensures each piece meets exact specifications, which is key to maintaining Nike's high standards. But humans are still essential in this high-tech setup. Skilled workers oversee the robots and step in to solve any problems that come up. This mix of technology and human expertise allows Nike to get the best of both worlds. The cutting process changes based on the material. Mesh, leather, and rubber all need different approaches to get clean edges and waste less. 
Nike systems can switch between methods as needed, handling all the different materials used in modern athletic shoes. This automated approach not only speeds up production, but also fits with Nike's goal of being more sustainable. Robotic cutting can reduce waste by up to 60% compared to old methods, which saves money and is better for the environment. As impressive as the cutting phase is, it's just one part of making a shoe. The precision here sets up the next step. With all the pieces cut just right, they're ready for what comes next, where the real magic of shoemaking starts to happen. With pieces cut, the true artistry of shoemaking begins. Nike's skilled workers take on the challenges of putting together about 30 parts to make a single shoe, and they do this thousands of times a day with incredible accuracy. The assembly phase is where Nike's shoes really come to life. It's a mix of human skill and modern technology, with trained craftspeople at the core of the process. These workers are crucial in turning separate parts into a complete, high-performance shoe. Maintaining quality at such a massive scale is no small feat. Nike produces millions of shoes each year, and each one must meet the same exacting standards. This is where the extensive training of Nike's assembly workers comes into play. These skilled individuals undergo rigorous programs to master the intricacies of shoe construction, learning about the specific materials used and the unique assembly techniques required for different shoe models. The assembly follows a careful step-by-step -step process. It starts with lasting, where the upper part of the shoe is stretched over a foot-shaped mold to get the right fit and shape. Then comes precise stitching to join all the parts together, which needs both strength and a gentle touch. Nike has changed the game with its cold cement construction technique. Instead of using high heat like traditional methods, Nike uses a special glue to attach the upper to the sole at lower temperatures. This lets them use lightweight materials like plastic, foam, and mesh, making shoes that perform better and feel more comfortable. This method also speeds up production compared to old school approaches. As the last stitches are sewn and the sole is firmly attached, each Nike shoe is almost finished. But there's one more key step, adding Nike's advanced sole technology. Imagine a shoe that offers incredible cushioning while staying super light. It might sound like something from the future, but Nike's engineers have been pushing the limits of what shoes can do for years. Their search for the perfect sole has led to some amazing breakthroughs, and it all started with a clever idea about trapping air. Nike's air technology has been changing the game for athletes since 1978. The sole isn't just the bottom of the shoe, it's what makes the whole thing work. In Nike's design, the sole is key to how well the athlete can run, jump, and move. Making the perfect sole is tricky. Engineers have to balance cushioning and shock absorption with keeping the shoe light and tough. Too much cushioning makes a shoe heavy and wobbly, while too little can hurt your feet. Nike keeps innovating to find that sweet spot. Nike's sole technology has come a long way. It started with the air sole, which uses the air pockets for cushioning. This was a big change from old school foam soles, giving better comfort and energy return. As technology advanced, so did Nike sole designs. The introduction of Lunar Lawn Foam brought a new level of lightweight cushioning to their shoes. This was followed by the development of React Foam, which further enhanced comfort and performance. Each new material brought its own set of benefits, from improved energy return to reduced weight, allowing Nike to create shoes tailored to specific athletic needs. Making these high-tech soles isn't easy. Take the Air Sole. It needs special heat molding and air pressure to create and seal those tiny air pockets. It's a complicated process that requires fancy machines and careful control. Once the sole is done, the shoe is almost ready. But before any Nike shoe gets to an athlete, it goes through tough quality tests. These tests make sure each shoe is up to Nike's high standards. Next, we'll see how Nike puts their shoes to the test. With the sole secured, the shoe is almost ready for action, but there's one final step. In an industry where mistakes can cost millions, how does Nike keep its quality so high? The answer is a mix of skilled workers and new technology that's changing how they check for problems. Before leaving the factory, each Nike shoe goes through more than 20 quality checks. This careful process is key to Nike's reputation for great shoes. 
Train staff look closely at each shoe, checking the stitching, materials, and how it's put together. They bend and twist the shoes to make sure they'll last. Special machines also test the shoes, putting them under pressure and repeated impacts to copy what happens during sports. Nike's focus on quality has paid off. They have far fewer defects than most other shoe companies. They keep improving by looking at data from these checks to fix problems before they come big issues. Now, Nike is using artificial intelligence and special cameras to spot even tiny flaws. These advanced AI systems can analyze shoes at speeds and levels of detail impossible for human eyes. They can spot minute inconsistencies in stitching patterns, detect subtle color variations that might indicate material flaws, and even predict potential weak points based on the shoe's construction. This technology not only improves accuracy, but also significantly speeds up the inspection process, allowing for more thorough checks without slowing down production. The integration of AI and quality control represents a significant leap forward, combining the precision of machines with the expertise of human inspectors. It's a powerful example of how Nike continues to innovate at every stage of the shoemaking process, ensuring that each pair that leaves the factory is worthy of the Nike name. With quality guaranteed, these carefully made shoes are ready for what comes next. Did you know a single pair of Nike shoes can travel over 7,000 miles before reaching your feet? This journey from factory to store is an amazing feat of global logistics that pushes supply chain technology to its limits. As the shoes leave the quality control area, they enter the final stages of packaging and distribution. Each pair is carefully boxed, ready to embark on its global odyssey. But this is where the real challenge begins. Nike's distribution network is a finely tuned machine, tasked with a monumental job of moving hundreds of thousands of shoes daily across the globe. The logistical challenges are staggering, with production primarily centered in countries like China, Vietnam, and Indonesia. Nike must coordinate a complex web of transportation methods to reach consumers worldwide. This involves a carefully orchestrated dance of air and sea transport, balancing speed and cost effectiveness to ensure timely delivery to retailers and consumers. Nike cares about the environment in shipping too. They use recycled materials for packaging and design boxes to cut down on waste. These small changes add up to big reductions in Nike's environmental impact across millions of shipments. The scale of Nike's global supply chain is truly impressive. With 785 contract factories employing over 1 million workers spread across multiple countries, coordinating production and distribution is a Herculean task. Each day, a vast number of shoes begin their journey from these factories, passing through trading companies before reaching their final destinations at retailers around the world. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of Nike's distribution system is hidden from view. Behind the scenes, a sophisticated data analytics operation is constantly at work, predicting consumer demand and optimizing inventory management. This system analyzes countless data points, from sales trends to weather patterns, to ensure the right products are available at the right time and place. The payoff of this data-driven approach is significant. By accurately predicting demand, Nike can reduce excess inventory and waste, making their entire supply chain more efficient. This not only cuts costs, but also aligns with their sustainability goals by minimizing overproduction. Moreover, these insights feed back into the design process, helping create shoes that better meet consumer needs and preferences. And so, the journey of a Nike shoe comes full circle. From digital blueprints to global distribution, the journey of a Nike shoe showcases modern manufacturing innovation. Each step, from fly-knit technology to robotic cutting, keeps Nike at the top of the athletic footwear game. Their use of recycled materials and waste reduction also sets new industry standards. Looking ahead, Nike keeps pushing boundaries. AI and data-driven decisions in production and distribution hint at even more advanced tech coming soon. These improvements don't just boost performance and efficiency, they open doors to personalizing shoes like never before. The Nike shoe story gives us a peek into the future of making consumer goods. As technology moves forward, Nike's approach could become a blueprint for other industries. The next phase might change how we think about mass-produced items, 
mixing cutting edge tech with what individual customers want. This raises some interesting questions. Which other industries might follow suit? How could this shift our relationship with the things we buy and use every day?